write the name for FeCl3, that's iron 3 chloride, we'll use some simple rules in the periodic table. So on the periodic table, we look up Fe, that's iron. Then we look up Cl, that's chlorine. We have a metal and nonmetal, so it's ionic. We're going to cross out the INE and replace that with IDE. So we have iron chloride, but we're not quite done yet. Iron is a metal, but it's a transition metal. That means it can have different charges, and we need to be very specific in how we name it. So we'll put parentheses in the middle here, and we're going to find the charge for iron. We know that chlorine is a minus one. It's always minus one. And we have three chlorine atoms. So three times minus one, that's minus three. In order to balance this out, so the overall charge is zero, the net charge is zero, we need to have a plus three. That's the charge on iron. Since we have a plus three charge on iron, in the parentheses, we'll write the Roman numeral three. That makes the name iron three chloride. This Roman numeral in parentheses, the only thing it means is that we have a plus three charge on this iron atom here. But that's important because someone can use the name now to write this exact formula. This is Dr. B with the name for FeCl3, iron three chloride. Thanks for watching.